world. What's up? Welcome to Build. I'm your host, Matt Forte. We are here live at the Build studio in New York City. Oh, man. Our next guest is a hilarious actor and comedian. You've seen him on Nickelodeon's Game Shakers, Keenan and Kel, and uh, cult classic movies like Good Burger and Mystery Men. Of course, we all first met him on the groundbreaking uh, kid sketch comedy show All That, where he introduced us to characters like Coach Creighton, Ed from Good Burger, and Repairman. Man. Man. Uh, now, he and his buddy Keenan are executive producers. They have a brand new cast, and they're ready to bring all that back for a new generation. Folks, he had to answer once and for all just how much he truly does love Orange. So to the great Kel Mitchell is in the building. How you feel about that? Are you guys excited? They're excited. I'm excited. Are you? I hope you're excited. You should be excited right now. This is a big deal. We're going to bring them out in just a moment. But first, we got to look back at some classic all that. So let's go ahead. Run that clip. Now, as principal, I, Principal William Baines Pimpel, will be checking into our local medical hospital to hopefully have this bulbous, grotesque pimple removed from my forehead. Oh, oh yeah! Ooh. Celebrate! Celebrate! It's about time you pop that pimple! Oh, every time I look at it, it makes me think of the moon! <laughs> Life. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. make some noise. The great Kel Mitchell is right here. Yeah. Hey, what's up, y'all? Hey. What's up, brother? Oh, my God, Kel. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Uh, congratulations, hey. sir. We are Thank so you. close. Thank you. Uh, all that is back. Everyone's super excited for it to happen. Yes. I'm really excited to talk to you. Thank you for being here, dude. How are you doing? Man, I'm good, man. Thank you for having me, man. How y'all doing? Y'all good? Hey. <laughs> That was, uh, that was a fantastic clip. One of your characters, uh, Coach, to see Coach back in action. Uh, I was following you. Uh, it was pretty amazing. Yeah. That's a funny one to look at because it's like, oh, look, it's baby Kel, but you're also done up like an old man. So it's kind of like a guess <laughs> as to what old Kel might look like. We haven't gotten there yet. No. Uh, but is it fun? To, how often do you go back and, and look at some of those old tapes, especially now coming into <laughs> this new world? Oh, all the time, man. Uh, you know, we come up and we see them online. And I think it's cool because a lot of, like, the 90s fans, are introducing it to their kids. Yeah. Their kids are watching it. And it's, it's funny, like, I'll have eight-year-olds come up to me uh, doing Coach Creighton impersonations or Good Burger impersonations. Like, you weren't even born then. But that that's what's awesome about it. I mean, that's really why we brought the show back, because uh, it's just this love for it. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> it's a, well, it was a really exciting day, man. The cast officially announced uh, today. We know, we know all the kids that are going to be out there. It's really, really cool. Uh, how did you guys, you know, as executive producer, working with your buddy Keenan, how did you guys... Uh, go about finding the next generation? What were you, did you get involved in that part of the process? Yeah, man. Well, we have uh, awesome casting directors, and they did a nationwide search like, like they did with us, uh, and they found some amazing kids from different walks of life, different cities, uh, and they're really, really good. It's seven of them, just like it was seven of us. Uh, and we got to see the audition tapes, and these kids are, you know, doing original characters in the room. Uh, it's similar to us, man, and they, they got it. They're a lot of great energy, a lot of great fun. So uh, you all are going to be really excited about it. It's, it's going to be a great show, man. That's yeah. so exciting. Did you guys, uh, once they got there, obviously they come with some characters prepackaged. Do you guys work with them at all as kind of the experts that you are and help them sort of develop their characters? Yeah. And find their Coach Cretans and find their <laughs> ear boys and whatnot? And like figure yeah. Out? We have amazing writers as well, man, and uh, I'm happy that I'm there to – uh, give them advice and uh, be a mentor for them. You know what I mean? Because uh, as a child actor, there's there's things that you'll go through, and I just I'm just happy that I'm there to uh, be able to give them some advice and some fun stuff. And uh, these kids listen, man. They listen, uh, and, and they're really really cool. And I dig it, man. And we didn't have that back in the day. Like we didn't have a mentor, but we actually went through it. You know, and so it's cool to be able to like give them advice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's such a a unique not. Not a lot of people get to have the experience they're about to have and that you guys had. Yeah. And it's it's really cool for them to have you as a resource, someone who's walked that path before and, and can kind of help them navigate some of the different landmines and stuff that they may encounter along the way. It's cool, yeah. It's also a huge responsibility, right? Like, <laughs> it's, it's like, <laughs> I'm with it, man. I mean, that's me anyway, you know what I mean? Like, I, I love giving advice. And, you know, if you look at my Instagrams, I do, like, motivational speaking and things <laughs> like that. So uh, it's just part of me, man. So I dig it. You know, my mom was... Uh, uh, a teacher and my dad was a psychologist so I guess it's just 
It's in me, my grandfather, a preacher, so you know what I mean? <laughs> so, you, are, yeah. you are genetically built for that. Yeah, you, man. You are ready. <laughs> That's right. You are scientifically predisposed to be inspirational and guide people. Yeah, that man. <laughs> yeah, man, I love it. I dig it. <laughs> uh, talk about working with Keenan, man. You know, yeah. you guys, obviously, uh, really good friends. Over the years, people have tried to start rumors that you guys aren't talking, yeah. aren't this or that, and uh, both of you have always been very clear. No, we're totally fine. We're, totally we're, fine. we're cool. And yeah. now here you are working together. Is this, uh, aside from, like, the thing with Fallon where you did the reunion is this the biggest thing you guys have worked on since back in the day uh, like together yeah man I mean I just posted us inside of the good burger car which is yeah <laughs> yeah we were in the like the pinto with the burger on the front man uh <laughs> and that was crazy like we were like little kids again man we were so excited only difference is we had our phones because we wanted to get it on social media so we're like yeah 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 but, uh, man, it was awesome, I mean, to do that and to be working together again. And it's just a real feeling, too, man, because it's like it's a connection with all that, with the fans. It, it feels like everybody's family, you know? <laughs> yeah. I imagine it's surreal. This is the show, and keep me honest, but this was the show that got it started for both of you guys. Like you Definitely. Been, you were super young at the time. There's nothing like this on television, really, that was doing what you guys were doing. And yeah. it really was the platform that helped you kind of get your foot in the door. True. Now here you are, your executive producers on it, both of you together. <laughs> yeah. That's got to be really freaking crazy and weird. It's got to be such a weird feeling. It That's is. a good one, but yeah. still. Like... It, it's definitely a, a good feeling. I remember uh, being on the set, yeah. uh, and they were building like the first sets for the new show, uh, the new season. And the first one that they had up was the Good Burger <laughs> like set. Yeah. And that was the only one in this huge studio. The only one that was up first was Good Burger. And so I walk in, and I just see this light. <laughs> just on the set. And at that moment, just my heart, I was like, wow. Because it looked exactly like how it did in Florida when we did it for the first time. We're using the same backdrop and everything. So it's awesome, man. Yeah. <laughs> nuts. What was it like the first time uh, you put, like, Ed's little hat and the dreads back on? Or, like, <laughs> you put, like, the Coach Creek and, like, the makeup back on? What was it like getting back into those roles? You know, we, like you said, we did it for Fallon. Uh, the, not the last Super Bowl, but the Super Bowl before I did it. Uh, but for this one, it was a little different because I, I went to my dressing room and I forgot that I had the outfit on and I walked by the mirror and I, and I walked by the mirror and I just saw Ed and it was this, I mean, this might sound weird, but it was like I like full on had a conversation and then with Ed in the mirror. It was like, oh, hi, old friend. How you doing? He's like, well, how are you, man? good to see you <laughs> and it's like we're just talking and you know just getting back into it and really doing it you know what i mean so it's been awesome man these characters cool. have like their own life basically <laughs> it's crazy. that's what well, that's really yeah. a great way to put it they do and like there's no way first of all you were so young and two just like no one can ever predict yeah. how these things are going to endure did you guys have any sense whatsoever that you were making characters that you'd be doing for the rest of your life eventually <laughs> no not in the beginning i mean yeah. in the beginning like even with the producers at that time in the beginning and we were just doing a special. We thought, let's try it. You know, like, let's do an SNL for kids to see if it goes well. Nickelodeon tried it with us. And, I mean, it blew up. Like, to this day, like, I get stopped at red lights and people jumping out of the <laughs> out of their car door. Like, dude, welcome to Good Burger. Open to Good Burger. Do it for me. You know, or I go to a restaurant and if I do not order orange soda, like, people are like, what? <laughs> How dare you? You don't drink anything else but, you know what I mean? <laughs> Orange soda, you know, and then I have to do the whole thing with them. I do, I do, ooh, and it's like, do, yeah. it's, it's, it's hilarious, but I don't mind, though. I'm not one of those actors that, like, get upset about it, you know what I mean? I think it's fun. I think it's cool. What yeah. is, um, it seems like Ed would be the most obvious one that you get all the time. What is the most, how do you know you get, like, what's a deep cut? Have you, somebody comes up to you with a character, and you're like, I don't even remember how to do the voice for that one. Has that, like... <laughs> I mean, most of mine, I, I pretty, I can do them all. Like, you know what I mean? And and people hit me with everything. They'll they'll ask me to do Coach Creed. They'll ask me to do Ed. Ed is the like most that's popular cool. one. Oh yeah, that's the one. That and Orange Soda. That's the one that everybody <laughs> comes up and says do. And every now and then you get a diehard fan. They'll be like, oh, do Lump Maroon, do Jupiter, do like all those different ones. Yeah. Oh, okra. <laughs> I don't get that one a lot. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. <laughs> 
<laughs> that was funny. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing, man. You guys, the writing back then, like, yes, it's SNL for kids, but it was also, you could tell the kid, you guys were getting help from, like, some great, uh, like, grown up writers. Because yeah. you had a sketch like Okra. Yeah. And then uh, you had, like, Ross Perot was a recurring <laughs> character on all that. I was like, yeah. what is going on? It was <laughs> such a weird show yeah. uh, at, at that time. Uh, how have you guys worked to take that tone, which was so uniquely then, and, and, and kind of bring it into, yeah. you know, this time now and, and make it what today's youth, like what their voice would be. Yeah, we at have. At the risk of sounding like an incredibly old person when I say <laughs> today's youth. Today's youth. But like, you know what I mean? How did you <laughs> yeah. update it? Yeah, well, we have some amazing new writers that are, are young and, and super hip. <laughs> That's what that word. Super hip. Yeah. <laughs> but not getting that one on I know, right? And then we also uh, have some writers that were in the, the first one, you know what I mean? Just so it still have that, have that tone to it, yeah. you know? So it's this great mix that's going on. Uh, and it was important to us when we started the show that it has that uh, that feel from the 90s so that when the parents watch it, they'll go, oh, yeah, there's some stuff for us. But then for the new generation and the new kids, it's stuff for them as well. I mean, like, honestly, this is going to be the first show that actually brings the family back together yeah. where everybody's watching it for different reasons and uh, no one's going to be in different rooms watching different tele television programs. They're going to be sitting right there together watching all that. So we're bringing the family back together. Man. That's, yeah, it's such a cool yeah. way when you, when you think about it that uh, the whole family is now ready yeah. for all that. The original all that was really like it was my show when I was a kid. My parents didn't get it, but now yeah. you know everyone's grown up. We have kids and things of that nature, and we're gonna watch the show with them. So it's become a family show. It's a it's a family show, man. Like I get moms running up to me, screaming because they're like, "Oh man, it's a, it's Ed!" And then their 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 daughter is like, "No, it's Double G from Game Shakers." You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, and it's 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 crazy that they'll go back and forth. Who wants to autograph first? You know what I mean? So it's it's pretty cool to have like the whole family like watching you for different reasons. It's Cool. Yeah. It's a cool problem to have, man. Yeah. Which autograph to do first? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, let's take a picture of both. Of you. Yeah, <laughs> you know, talking about bringing the family back together. Uh, yeah. You got, yeah. Let's talk about the all that family. I've seen video. <laughs> Lori Beth uh, came back. I saw Josh was back in yeah. there. Um, it, that was really exciting too. There was a clip I think Nickelodeon put out where Lori Beth does her quiet librarian, yes. her loud librarian character, and stuff yeah. like that. Uh, d you guys have kept touch over the years, or was this uh, like a true reunion? Was this like one of the first times in a long time that everybody got back in the same room? We've had others. We've had, well, you know, we've done uh, the Comic Cons and stuff like that, and reunions, and uh, and just hanging out because a lot of us are in Los Angeles, so we see each other a lot. Other, man. Yeah, man. Uh, but it's been awesome, man. I mean, like to see. Uh, Lori Beth back into that Mrs. Hushbum like outfit for a loud librarian and screaming at the kids. It's super awesome, man. It's great. And then work with Josh again. We just did a Coach Creighton sketch. That's insane. <laughs> like, I mean, people are really going to love this, man. It's going to be cool. Are, can we look for, are you guys going to pop up uh, throughout the season or is, it, or is everybody just back just for the premiere? Like, uh, how, or can you not say? <laughs> I can say. I can say we're going to pop up throughout the season. Cool. You know, I think people, uh, the fans really want that. So we're going to pop up a lot and show some characters that are pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's cool, man. You know, uh, you and Keenan were always this incredible, like, comic duo. You guys had Thank such you. great chemistry together yeah. and you worked so well together together in front of the camera. What's it been like uh, working with them behind the camera? How has that chemistry translated to what you guys are doing now? It's it's, it's awesome. I mean, uh, you know, behind the camera anyway, it's just an awesome friendship, uh, even when we were younger. And that's even how Keenan and Kel got started. You know what I mean? So uh, it's the same thing. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, you're getting to create something with your homie. You know what I mean? Or your brother. You know what I mean? So there's always a fun time coming up with creative ideas, uh, and it's just been awesome. You know, we have an awesome crew, awesome staff. Uh, it, it's, it's really a big family. Like, my, my family flew in uh, from Chicago, my parents, and stuff like that, uh, to check it out. So uh, it's been it's been awesome, man. Yeah. What's the, you said your family flew in, what's the audience been, because you guys have shot a bunch of these already. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Have you shot the whole season yet, or no? No, not yet. Not, not yet. yet, so you're yeah, still in the middle like of it. We're on episode four when we get back. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. All right, so <laughs> what's, what's the audience been like, and has it felt... Uh, different from when you were a little kid, like <laughs> well, it was funny. The uh, first week we shot, it was a whole bunch of adults in the audience. 
<laughs> and it was just like, because they were like, no, no, I'm going because I watched all of that. And it's like a whole bunch of them. Uh, we're like, yo, like everybody's like <laughs> 25 and up over there. But then like the, the next, uh, next week, it was a whole bunch of kids mixed with adults. And that's what's cool. Like you'll see parents screaming just as loud with their kids. Uh, and then the new cast, uh, the kids are loving them. Like, oh, they're so cool. They're so cool. And then you got older parents loving us. And then it's this, it's just this big mix. It's just, it's super cool, man. What That's a fun I've never seen that That's in an so audience cool. before. <laughs> that mix, yeah. That's pretty amazing, man. Yeah. Uh, every time you or Keenan appear somewhere, uh, somebody brings up Good Burger 2. Uh, you just mentioned you were in the Good Burger. You were in the Burger Mobile. Yes. Uh, and, and I know you both have said publicly you're into it. You'd love to do it. Let's make it happen. Let's assume it's happening. What's something you'd want to see for Ed in Good Burger too? What's what, something I want to see? Something for Ed you want? Yeah. Burger where do you want to see Ed now? It's 2019. Uh, that's funny because there's been a lot of conversations about that, so I don't want to give any spoilers. But uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, it would be cool to like you know have Ed you know owning the shop now, like he's yeah. owning Good Burger. That would be kind of cool. You know, he stayed there all these years, and, and now he's got some ownership in it. <laughs> so that would be awesome. You know, maybe he's married, got some kids. You know what I mean? Like, Grown Did you see some Ed kids? It's, yeah. It's, it's such a crazy concept. Well. <laughs> like Ed doing wedding vows? Right. You know? Oh, man. It would be so funny. I love you. <laughs> I really do. It would be so sweet. Um <laughs> All right, how about this? This is a not, because I didn't even, uh, silly question, Obi, because yeah. now that I realize you guys probably had to have those talks as you were figuring out of how to do Ed for this season. So that could be spoiler. Let's forget that. No. How about some great uh, celebrity cameos that you'd love to get in the Good Burger 2 movie? Who's like a, a celebrity cam uh, like best one you can get? Who you want? I'm from Chicago, yeah. so you got to throw in like Chance the Rapper, throw him in there. Uh, who else, man? Cardi B. I don't know. It's just because that was a thing. Like, we be ordering a good burger. I would love that. <laughs> oh, <cut her. laughs> I don't know. Throw everybody in there, man. Like, I would love to see everybody, man. The whole, the whole Smith family, Will Smith, all of them. You know, because it's, it's like you, you're surprised that the people that really love Good Burger, like the Jonas Brothers, they're on our first show, you know, on June 15th. And they are they said, we'll perform if we're in a Good Burger sketch. No way. That was the yeah. condition? <laughs> that was one of the conditions. That was in the, <laughs> Yeah, man. <laughs> also, bro. How uh, how loud was that crowd? When they Crazy. <laughs> Crazy, like you know, Ed popped out. It was screams, and then the Jonas Brothers popped out, and it was just it, it, pandemonium, <laughs> pandemonium. And they, I, I had a blast with them, man. They were super funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can you? Uh, I think I've seen a couple other because your Instagram, but like other uh, musical guests. Musical guests were such a big part oh, yeah. of all that, I and mean, uh, yeah. it was such a big part of the show. It was an event. You got to see these people perform live. Yeah, Daddy Yankee rocked out with us recently. Yeah, that was cool. That must have been a really cool time. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, man. So, and you said you got four episodes so far under the belt, yeah. give or take? Yeah, man. Very, very exciting. Uh, so all that, because we're, we're going to go to audience Q&A in a second, but there's a couple of things okay. I want to talk to you first. All that, June 15th. Woo! So we're almost there, 8.30 p.m. Uh, Eastern Pacific on uh, Nickelodeon. You knew that. Uh, uh, before we go over to the audience, there's another show uh, that you're working on at CBS uh, as a dog lover. I have to bring it up. Got to show some respect for the show, uh, Tales of Valor. Tell me what's going on with Tales of Valor, what that is, and how yeah, you Yeah, man. I'm part of the CBS Dream Team. Yeah. Uh, and it's uh, every morning, Saturday morning, uh, and it's about service dogs and what they do for their patients, man. And uh, it really tugs at your heart, man, for the things that they do. Uh, you know, they wake you up to take, you know, certain insulin shots and things like that. So uh, these these pets are awesome. And it's so many amazing stories that I, I didn't know about and so many yeah. service pets that I didn't know about. You know what I mean? So I was just like, wow, like there's doves and there's even a there's rat. Service doves? <laughs> there's a service rat as well. Like I didn't know you could do all that. I can figure <laughs> out that a rat. I'm trying to wrap my head around what the service dove does. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like flies and everything. And it, 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 it was calming her down. She had like a lot of anxiety. Oh, and it would come right. over and calm her down. Like she just rubbing and the, the bird knew like. Just like, you know, that what makes I mean? a lot of sense. Yeah. I'm sitting here trying to figure out how the yeah. dove knows, like, which like pills to get or like how to help. Like, I'm yeah. like, How's the that was a dog that did that. Yeah, no, I've seen yeah. dogs. Yeah, yeah, the dogs do that. And I'm just like, What? Like, wake, wake the wake the patient up, you know, hey, point at the, you know, you need to take it. It's just like amazing. How'd you, how'd you get involved in that show, man? It seems like such a great fit for you. Though. Yeah, man, it, it is a really good fit, man. Yeah. They, they hit me up, they saw me hosting some other things, and I was like, I'll totally do it. And what was funny is that I they didn't know this story, but my dog actually saved my life when I was a kid. What 
happened. Yeah, so... Uh, I am not sharing that. Yeah, no, I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind. Tell yeah. me a deeply personal thing. Go. Yeah. Well, it was this open field, like, uh, by the train tracks in, in Chicago that was behind, like, where we lived at. And uh, during the wintertime, it was just, you know, I guess, like, spring was coming, but it was, like, a, a whole bunch of puddles that were really big. And me and my sister used to run through there and, like, jump on the puddles. But it was one that was really, really deep. I guess it was a hole and water had filled up. I thought it was a puddle. And I jumped in it, and I fell all the way down. And I couldn't swim at the time, and I got went too far down. And so I was way down there, and I remember my dog, Busy, the, the German Shepherd Husky mix. She came over, and she put her leash down and pulled me out. No way. That's pull, amazing. Pulled me out, man. I was like, that was super cool. Yeah, yeah. You She's must in have... doggy heaven now, but, oh, she, that, but that was super cool, though. Yeah. Fed her good burgers every day after that. <laughs> Thank you. Go, Take this burger. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, no, but that that was that was awesome, man. Yeah. That's pretty amazing. That's an amazing yeah, story. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for sharing that. No problem. Uh, all right, we're going to head over to audience Q&A. Our first question is coming to us from yeah. Twitter. It's from at Liz Reporter. It says, hey, it's clearly hard to get into entertainment industry, uh, whether you are a singer, actor, or host. What is some advice you can give someone who's struggling to catch their uh, quote unquote big break you know uh these days uh, there's a, a lot of opportunities to be seen like back in the day it wasn't uh I'm, I'm a big believer in doing it yourself show people you know what i mean get some friends together get some cameras you can do things on your iphones now uh create the scenes that you want to see and put it out there you know put it on your instagram you can sign up on Instagram, that's free. Put it up on YouTube. And you will be surprised at the people that will see your stuff, especially if you get a following and get an audience following behind it. Do that. And get and you know, and do the work too. Like do some theater, do some acting, there's some free courses and things like that as well. Uh, but really like, you know, really practice the craft and shoot your own stuff. Like, don't be afraid to do that. Shoot your stuff, get it out there. You know, it, these days with music and acting, you can put it up yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Do you ever look at that, especially with Keenan, and go, man, if only we had half of the technology <laughs> that they I don't have. Know, man. It'd probably be crazy. It'd probably be stuff out there like, <laughs> like <laughs> y'all did that. Yeah. Probably better off you didn't have it. It's probably... <laughs> yeah, man, real talk. Uh, okay, if you have any questions in the room, we've got two in the room. Perfect. So let's get to those real quick. we got some microphones out there. First question right here. Right uh, hey, up. how are you? Um, my Good. question is, knowing what you know today and going through what you've been through, what are some things you would have told younger Kel to do differently? Wow, that's a great question. What I would have told younger Kel, um, huh? I would have told him to enjoy the process of it. You know, kind of, you know, look around, enjoy it. Uh, you know, I had a lot of fun doing it, of course, uh, but just to enjoy it, and it's gonna, you know, it, a, a lot of stuff is gonna work out. I think for me, uh, I was the kind of person where. I try to control everything at once, you know, at every time. And it's kind of like just, you know, relax, take a breather. It's going to be all right. You know what I mean? God got you. You all good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Was yeah. it, when you went from all that to, to Keenan and Kel, mm -hmm. you were you were young, man. You were on fire. You were super popular. Did you feel any pressure at that time because your name was on the marquee? Or were you just, just young and, and, and in love with the moment? Like, what was <laughs> what were you thinking when it became your show? Oh, yeah. Keenan and Kel's show? Yeah, yeah when it... Oh, uh, I don't know. I mean, like, you know, it, it, it definitely does come at you fast, you know, when you when it takes off. And then you have uh, friendships that are developed and you don't know whether people are your friends because you're on a show or whether they like you for who you are. And that's why I always tell the kids to, uh, even on the new shows that I work on with Game Shakers and then all that now, uh, I tell them, you know, have a good sense of self. Know who you are. Know that you were special before you got on the show. The show didn't make you special. You were already special when you were born. So just know that. And this is just a different, just one level in your life. And there's going to be other things that are going to be happening in your life. So don't let your job define who you are. This is this is work, you know. And it's a lot of uh, child actors that get that confused. You know what I mean? So, yeah, just, just have fun with the process. You know, it's cast really yeah. lucky to have you hanging around. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I like man. to have that wisdom right there. Yeah, man. I think it's, it's going to be a great environment. All right, I've got one more question in the room. Let's do it. Yeah. Uh, come on down. Hey, man, how's it going? What's up, bro? Hey, so uh, a lot of things are rebooting now, like Will and Grace and stuff. Uh, is there any chance, you know, once the success of all that comes back and hits, any chance we're going to see the Rock Moors again? I think we could really use some uh, scary toast stories from Kel. Just. <laughs> Getting you and Keenan back together. Uh, I mean, anything's possible, man. At this point, I mean, you know, like with all that coming back, 
uh, talks a good burger too. Uh, like you said, all these '90s shows are coming back. Bad Boys coming back again. So uh, I could totally see that. You know, maybe a special or something like that. You know, with Keenan and Kel, see where Kel Kimball's at now, and <laughs> Ke- Keenan Rockmore. Yeah, <laughs> but the fans they want it. They're there. You know, even though all that hasn't even premiered yet, people are like, okay, now Keenan and Kel. It's like, wait, can we? Show this other one first, like, <laughs> Sorry, yeah, but no, not you. <laughs> I'm saying, like, people are in the comments, like, yeah. really, like, okay, great, good, now bring you the kill back. <laughs> it's like so that's funny, but that's cool. Now. Yeah, season one of a show drops, you've spent half your life making it, everyone watches it in a weekend, yeah, and then it's like, great, give me season two and three. That's it's true. like you haven't even aired this thing yet, <laughs> and we're all like, cool, this exists, yeah. I will watch this, give me all the other things that I want to exist. It's <laughs> like, also, man, there's a, there's an audience that's there. Yeah, and yeah, and we've even talked about doing other things, even other type of new creative movies and things like that too. And Nickelodeon, yeah. <laughs> Was this? Did you and Keenan go to Nick, or did Nick call you guys up and say, "Hey, we think we want to get the band back together. Uh, Are you guys into it?" It was collective. I mean, yeah. being that the fact that Brian Robbins is our president now, you yeah, know, yeah, it, yeah. It's, it's it's super cool. You know, and he's like, I want to bring all that back. And, you know, it was pandemonium. Like, fans went like, what? Yes. Let's do this. So, yeah. So cool. Well, you are doing it. Uh, yeah. I wanted to, I couldn't, I feel bad because of what you said earlier, but I had to do this. There's one last thing uh, that I want to do before you get out of here. <laughs> I, um, I picked oh boy. up. I picked up a bottle of, uh, uh, of orange soda. And I, I figured uh, with everything you got going on, it's a very exciting time. And I thought it would only be appropriate. Uh, we're two grown men celebrating it. We're going to toast. Two grown men. It's a quick toast yeah. to everything going on. Okay. I have to open this with two hands. Round of applause to kill the silence. Okay. There we go. See? What a great audience. It's, uh, you know? What a great audience. I love you guys. That was, that was the perfect amount of applause. I got the bottle open. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to pour some of this out. Okay. Uh, but while I'm doing that, I'll remind everybody that uh, you tune in to Nick on June 15th at 8.30 please, p.m. Eastern please. and Pacific because all that is back. All oh, that um, is back. I'm going to hand you, this is for you, sir. Oh, is it? Uh, okay. d- is, it uh, is that okay? Is that, is that to your liking? <laughs> I like it. It's good. It's good. I want to congratulate you uh, on the Thank return you. of this amazing show, all the amazing work that you've been doing. Uh, and, and we love you. We love Orange Soda. We love Keenan and Kel, and we love Kel, and we're glad you guys are back in it. Thank Cheers, you, buddy. Hey, Thank you so much. Hey, hey, hey. June 15th, tune into Nickelodeon. All that is back. <laughs> Kel Mitchell, everyone. Make some noise. Do it up. Come on. Hey.